row your boat gently down the stream. Hello, girls and boys. It's Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today's vlog is going to be all about boats. Boats on the ocean, boats on lakes, boats in rivers, the many different kind of boats out there, the parts of a boat, and some of the pieces of the boat like this oar that are used on some boats. We've got all sorts of fun in store for you. You're going to learn a lot today, so stick around. There are different parts of a boat and they're called different things. I'm going to point out this boat here, what each part is called. We have the front of the boat, the very front where that comes to a point. See, it comes to a point, that's called the bow. The back of the boat is called the stern. The body of the boat is called the hull. I'm going to tell you the right and the left side of the boat which I have the boat backwards where the end, the back of the boat's here and the front of the boat's here so you can understand left from right. The left side of the boat is called the port side. The right side of the boat is called starboard side. Just about every boat has an anchor. It's a device usually that is metal that you throw over the boat and it lands at the bed of the bottom of the river, the lake, or the ocean, and it sticks into the bottom of the ocean or the river or lake so that your boat doesn't drift in the wind. There are two types of motors. I only have an example of one. This is called an outboard motor. And it's pretty easy to figure out because it's on the outside and you can see it. An inboard motor would be under the belly on the bottom of the boat where you cannot see. Take a look at a picture of the difference. Now I'm gonna go through the different types of boats that are in our world. First boat is called a dinghy. A dinghy is a lifeboat that can be found on board of a ship in case of an emergency. But it can also be a rowboat used for fishing or relaxing on the ocean or a river. And as we were talking about, a rowboat uses oars. There's usually two that connect onto the boat, the side of the boat, so you don't have to worry about it falling in the water with an oar lock. Here's a picture of an oar lock and a few rowboats too. As we were talking about the dinghies, another category is sailboat. They come in all sizes. What makes a sailboat? Well, it has to have sails. Sometimes you can use just the wind to move the boat and other times sailboats have a motor when the wind is no longer working. A windy day is great for sailboats. Another boat is a speedboat. Yup, that's right children, a speedboat. It goes really fast, but it needs a motor. Remember we talked a little bit about the outboard motor or an inboard motor like we showed you that's within the bottom of the boats. That's pretty cool. Have you been ever been on a speedboat before? I have. I found a houseboat to be very interesting concept. It's a boat on water that's also a house. It was designed to be a house and modified. Check out some of these cool houseboats. Some houseboats aren't motorized because they're usually kept moored and stationary, meaning in one place. However, some of these houseboats are capable of operation and having a power or a motor of some sort, like you see in this photo. Do you want to live on a houseboat? That would be fun. The next boat is called a yacht. A yacht can be used for fun and pleasure, could be used for just cruising around, or could also be used for racing. But you know, I know that yachts are always sort of remembered as being much bigger than a normal boat, at least 33 feet or bigger. So that's one big boat. And in those yachts, you have some beautiful rooms, like a normal house almost. It's not really a houseboat, but it has the comforts of a house bathrooms, bedrooms, and places where you can see from inside 
outside, like the view is beautiful. Another interesting type of boat is called the center console boat. Basically what that means is you steer, the steering wheel is in the center of the boat. Take a look. There could be seating in the front and back of the boat. Remember we called the front the bow and the back the stern? A bow rider is another type of boat. Can be small or big, up to 35 feet long. However, in the bow of the boat, they have extra seating where you can sit in the front of the boat, in the bow of the boat, and really enjoy a really fun day. So yeah, a lot of these boats are used also for recreational use, fishing and having some water fun, water skiing fun, day cruising. Check out these wonderful bow, bow riders. A catamaran is a boat that has two parallel hulls. Parallel meaning sh straight, like my hands. So that means it has a body on one side and a body on the other. They were made for fishing mainly, but they're also used for other recreational uses and parties and to have a lot of fun. Take a look at some of the catamarans. A pontoon boat is a flat boat that relies on floats to remain buoyant. What does buoyant mean? It means the ability to float. A lot of these boats have the same uses. They use them for fun excursions like going out and doing water sports, fishing, just relaxing and sunbathing. Check out some of these pontoon boats. An air boat or a fan boat is a flat bottomed boat that has a fan attached to propel it to move in the water. These are pretty cool. I've been on one of these in the Everglades in Florida is a swampy area in Florida and it was really fun. Got to see a few alligators. The first boat that we know of was from 8,000 years ago. It was called the Pesse boat, P-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm just not sure. Basically, it's the oldest discovered boat in the world. It's about three meters long. It's like a canoe. See the photo? It's a very old, archaic object that was found. It now is in Nether the Netherlands at the Drents Museum. Isn't that fascinating? Now I want to tell you a little bit about some really special boats. They're called rescue boats. Rescue boats help to rescue people who might get stuck in the water. There are also police boats. You can find police boats on both freshwater, such as lakes and rivers, and in the ocean. And they really help if there's a problem on a boat, if an accident should happen, the police boat is there to help, but they also do safety checks on boats and inspections. So you have to make sure that you have your life rafts and all the things that are needed when you own a boat. There is also in the United States, the Coast Guard, which has ships and boats. Their purpose is to protect people, to protect our environment, to protect the industry, and to protect us and keep us safe on our seas, lakes, and river. They have a very important job, rescuing. I want to thank you children for joining me in this vlog all about boats. I learned so much I hope you learned so much. And when you get a chance, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, I'm gonna row, row out of here.